You are watching a special edition of Genetics 311, Forensic Files. A man has gone missing and is presumed dead. Domingo Molina, a.k.a. Crazy 8, is a local drug distributor turned informant for the DEA. Crazy 8 has been missing for nearly a week and the local authorities are desperate to find him. Some evidence of foul play has been found at the residence of one of Crazy 8's associates. As seen in exhibits A and B, there was a suspicious blood stain on the ground near the trash can outside Jesse Peekman's house. Upon further inspection, authorities found a shattered plate with the blood stain shard inside the trash can, exhibit C and D. Exhibit E shows an intact plate found inside the house of Jesse Peekman. Suspects were brought in for questioning. Hector Salamanca, a cartel boss, Jesse Pinkman, Crazy Eight's associate, Abuelita, involved with the cartel, and Walter White, a local high school teacher who has been seen at the Pinkman residence. Who do the two blood samples belong to? The forensic team decided to do an electrophoresis analysis of the variable number tandem repeats, BNTRs, and the DNA of the victim and the suspects. This test should confirm which is the victim's blood and to whom the other blood sample belongs. To perform the DNA fingerprinting, DNA samples must be taken from all five people involved. Luckily, Crazy 8's DNA was already on file at the DEA. Then the DNA is replicated using PCR, a process that greatly magnifies the amount of DNA. Once the samples are put in the wells at the top of the electrophoresis gel, a charge is sent through the gel. Since DNA is neg negatively charged, the particles move from the negative pole toward the positive pole at the bottom, with the smallest pieces traveling Further, faster, bands of VNTRs form, indicating the presence of an allele. If someone's alleles match with the evidence at multiple loci, DNA sample is likely theirs. At the first locus, the victim's bands match those of evidence 1. Suspects 1 and 4 match evidence 2. The second locus is tested also. Here, evidence 1 matches the victim as well. Suspects 3 and 4 match with evidence 2. These results indicate that the blood spatter outside the trash can is in fact Crazy 8's, while the blood on the plate shard is Walter White's. This suggests a struggle in which Crazy 8 stabbed Walter with the plate shard, but Walter achieved his goal of murdering Crazy 8. Walter should have been more careful and cleaned up the crime scene. The DNA fingerprinting confirmed the suspected relationship between Abuelita and Hector. At Locus 1, the pair share one allelic band. At Locus 2, Hector and Abuelita share another single band. Since children get one band from each parent, it makes sense that Hector shares one similar band with his mother. The other allele comes from his father. Here are my sources. Thanks for watching.